Hey guys, welcome to another how to build guide for you players who are planning to use Charlotte. First off, we'll be looking at her skills, possible gears, and artifacts that she can use. Now, one very interesting thing about Charlotte is that she is a knight class hero with a very offensive skill set. Her first skill, Dual Swords, has two effects, which depends on the target's current HP. Above 50%, Charlotte will gain increased attack for two turns, while below 50%, there's a 50% chance of applying Defense Break. She gains one focus from using Dual Swords. One thing to note about this skill is that this effect applies after damage calculation. So if you attack the enemy from 100% HP, down to below 50%, her second effect will apply rather than the first effect. Overall, this skill is both good and bad. It's good since she will have an attack buff almost all the time, and she doesn't have to rely on attack buffers. Also, when using Charlotte as a farmer, her self buff will increase the damage of her AoE skills, thus making your runs faster. The bad thing about this skill is the condition on her second effect where the enemy needs to have less than 50% HP. Also, unlike her attack buff, which always applies, there's a 50% chance of applying defense break. This means if you want a hero that can apply defense break, do not rely on this skill. Her second skill, Ground Slam, is an AoE skill that has 25% chance to apply stun. She gains 30% combat readiness each time an enemy is affected. She gains 2 focus from using this skill. One thing to note is that she only gains combat readiness from this skill alone, which means other skills that apply stun will not trigger this effect. At 25% stun, it is very low, but the fact that it can hit multiple enemies does kind of balance that in my opinion. With skill enhance, you can increase this up to 35% chance. Her third skill, Vortex, is the best of Charlotte. It's another AoE skill that dramatically increases in damage based on her current focus. The good thing about this skill is that using it does not consume focus, meaning once she reaches a max focus, she will retain that amount till the end of the stage. It is best used at 5 focus where she gains another set of attack, which further increases the damage. With a cheap cost of 10 soul burn, you can decrease the cooldown of this skill by 2 turns. For skill enhanced, it's better to increase her third skill to plus 3, which decreases the cooldown by 1. That leaves a 3 turn cooldown skill. When Soul Burn is used, you can use this skill every turn. From here on is completely up to you. If you have Elbris on Charlotte, you can invest in dual swords because you will be spamming this skill a lot. However, if you don't use Elbris, then you can max her third skill instead. If you use Charlotte strictly for farming, you may want to consider increasing her second skill to plus 4 for increased stun chance, and the guaranteed plus 30% increased combat readiness from her skill. Overall, Charlotte doesn't bring much utility, and it's best to look at her differently. Rather than a tank that supports and protects the team, she is better classified as a DPS or a bruiser. Charlotte so far has the highest base attack of any knight class in the game, and is on par with offensive classes such as Thief and Ranger. With the inherent high base HP from knight classes, she can be very beefy in battles. However, her speed stat is on the low side. There are a few ways to build Charlotte, depending on where you use her. Speed set is not recommended on her because of her low base speed, but attack set will be good because of her high base attack. Lifesteal set also works for Charlotte because of her AoE skills. More enemies hit, higher total damage, and more heals. For the last two gears, this is up to you and what you need. Do you want to hit her stun and defense break more often? Get a hit set. Is she in the front line? Use a health set. Is her role more on the DPS side? In this case, use a crit set. For substats, Charlotte will need crit chance, attack, and speed. And for the last substat is up to you. Health percentage for more beefy Charlotte, 
effectiveness for her debuffs, or crit damage for a full DPS build. For main stats on your amulet and ring, you can use attack percentage, and for boots, have speed to cover for her low speed stat. With that all set, let's have a look at possible artifacts. For 5 star artifacts, the only one that is good for Charlotte, and I've mentioned it before, is Elbrus Ritual Sword, which gives a 10% chance to counter when an ally is attacked, up to 20% chance at max. Equipping Charlotte with counter set will not increase the chance of this artifact. That is because this artifact triggers when an ally is attacked, but counter gears triggers when Charlotte is attacked. They are two different events. Now why is this good? If you are not using counter set and she is not the team leader, you will have plenty of chances to trigger this effect, especially when the leader has a higher chance of being attacked. This either gives her attack buff more uptime or more opportunities to apply defense break. However, in most cases, this doesn't work well if Charlotte is using counter set. This is because you either want the enemy to attack her to trigger her counter from her gear, or you want the enemy to attack other heroes to trigger this artifact. Now when hit by an AoE attack is a different story. In this case, you are more likely to counter either from the artifact or the gear, but it's better used for bosses who has a lot of AoE or their normal attack is an AoE to get the best of both effects. However, with most bosses, this is a very rare case. For 4 star artifact, Hila Glance is a good option for Charlotte. She gains more combat readiness by 5% and can go up to 10% at max when an ally is attacked by a single target attack. To get the most out of this, Charlotte cannot be the leader of your team. Increased combat readiness is good for her since it's a better alternative to speed, especially when her base speed is low. For 3 star artifacts, Grail of Blood is good on Charlotte because of her high base attack. This artifact heals her for a percentage of her attack and gains 50% more HP when it's below 30%. Another artifact you can use is Tonfa. This is good to chip down enemy HP below 50% so you can use her second effect on her first skill faster. Sword of the Morning is another candidate for Charlotte since it increases both attack and speed by 10%. However, it only takes effect when her HP is below 50%. Others include Daydream Joker for extra damage, Labyrinth Cube for combat readiness, and Axe for crit. You have a few to choose from and use what's available to you and which ones you have mostly enhanced. Personally, I used Charlotte as pure DPS using attack and crit set with Axe. However, if I do pull out Elbris or Hilag from the summons, I would use that on Charlotte instead, Elbris being the top priority. She is best used in PvE content such as world and side story events, as long as she's not fighting against ice. With offensive gears, she will be able to melt down groups of enemies, especially her third skill, at 5 focus. She can speed up EXP, fodders, and catalyst farming. She'll also do well in bosses, but only in specific cases where there are annoying mobs that you have to defeat first, or if the boss continuously summons enemies. A good application for this is the Asma Kalis raid, where you have to defeat the mobs to clear the stage. However, Charlotte is least favorable in PvP. Now there are a few reasons. First is because of her low speed. Second, her defense break only triggers when enemy's health is below 50% at a fixed rate of 50%. Now that is too slow. Third, you have to be very lucky to hit multiple stuns on the other team because of her low stun chance. And lastly, to get the most out of her third skill, she needs to have 5 focus. And again, that's too slow. And that concludes the Charlotte Guide. I hope this gave you enough information on how you want to build her. And have fun playing Epic 7, and I'll see you on the next video. Rover out.